Yo, this is the Clockwork Pi Pico Calc, and it does a lot more than just math. It can now get new apps and features added to it right on the device without ever needing to plug it into a computer. You don't have to imagine anymore because for the past few months, I've been giving this calculator a secret upgrade. Well, this is the PicoCalc and it now has an on-device app store that I built from the ground up. For a long time, the PicoCalc had one big weakness when it came to software. Anytime I wanted to add a new app or cool feature, it was the whole process. I had to plug it into my computer, recompile the firmware, and then flash it over to my device. It was slow, annoying, and not exactly user friendly. Well, I'm Jay Blanks, and in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I made it happen. We'll get into the firmware and the system that makes it all work. Well, if you're new here, this is the PicoCalc. It's an open source portable terminal kit from Clockwork Pi based on the super versatile Raspberry Pi Pico. Now, while it seems like a calculator, I always pictured it as something more. The goal was a pocket-sized hackable device that the maker community could really run wild with. And the project I'm talking about runs on custom firmware I wrote called PicoWare. This video and the app store itself is all about the MicroPython version of that firmware. This allows you to develop apps entirely in MicroPython, but it also created the main problem. With so many people potentially making apps, the old way of flashing the firmware for every little update just wasn't going to work. It was holding back all the cool stuff people could create. The dream was to make adding software as simple as it is on your phone. Imagine you're out somewhere, you think of a new tool you need and you just code it and install it right on the spot. Well, that was the goal. And the new PicoWare version 1.5.2 release for MicroPython with its app store is finally making that happen. Think of it like the app store on your phone, but for this tiny open source gadget, it completely changes the PicoCalc from just a static tool into a platform that can grow and evolve. Now, this whole idea relies on one key piece of tech, loading apps dynamically. The Raspberry Pi Pico doesn't have an operating system that juggles programs for you, so the biggest hurdle was building a system with MicroPython that could load and run separate app files from an SD card. Instead of creating a low level bootloader, I solved this entirely in software with a custom Python class I call the app loader. It's the brains behind the whole operation. When PicoWare wants to run an app, it's the app loader's job to find that app's code on the SD card and pull it into memory. And this is where things get a little clever. The app loader temporarily tells MicroPython to add the app's folder on the SD card to its sys.path, which is basically a list of places where it looks for code. Then it uses a standard Python import command to load the app script as a module. This makes the app's code available to the main firmware ready to be executed. But this created a new challenge, memory management. The Pico has a very small amount of RAM. When you load an app, it takes up space. When you close it, that code doesn't just disappear, it stays in memory. If you kept loading different apps, you'd run out of RAM and the whole system would crash. Now to solve this, the app loader has a crucial cleanup routine. When you're done with an app, the loader removes the app's modules from the system and forces the garbage collector to run. It's like cleaning up your workbench after one project before you start the next, ensuring there's always enough space for the next app to run. Now, it definitely took a lot of trial and error to get this memory management stable, but now we're good to go. And once I got the app loading mechanism working, it was time to build the store itself. 
Now, this wasn't just about loading local apps. I wanted a true online experience for finding, downloading, and managing them. The first step was connecting the PicoCalc to the internet. For devices like the Raspberry Pi Pico W or Pico 2W, you can connect to your Wi-Fi network. From there, the App Store, which is just another PicoWare app, makes a call to a custom API I built and host on my own website. When you open the App Store, it sends a request to my server, which responds with a JSON formatted list of all the available apps. The firmware parses this data and displays it in a clean, scrollable menu. And when you select an app, it makes another call to the API to fetch specific details like its description and a full list of the files that need to be downloaded. The download process itself is now a real deal installation. The firmware sends git requests to download each of the app's files from my server. It then carefully reconstructs the required folder structure and saves the files directly onto the SD card. It's a completely automated process that turns a web service into locally executed code. To see if it all worked, I needed some apps. So I started by packaging up some of my existing PicoWare tools and uploading them to my server. And the awesome thing is, because all the apps are written in MicroPython, you can even use PicoWare's built-in Python editor to write and save new apps right on the device, and they'll pop up in your library. All right, enough talk. Let me show you how it actually works. So here we are on the main PicoWare desktop. You can see the new interface has some status icons up top for stuff like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. From here, let's click enter to open our app library. And here are the core tools, including the star of the show, the app store. Just click enter to fire it up. Now the interface loads and just like that, it connected to my website's API and fetched the catalog. Now we have a list of apps ready to download and run. We've got a text editor, a system info tool, and a few others. Let's install something new. There's a new game just added called 2048. First, to show you it's not in my app list already, if we click on games, we do not see 2048. So let's go back to the app store. And now we'll just scroll down and click on the app. Then it will load the app details. And from here, all we have to do is click enter again and the download begins. Now this only takes a few seconds since it's one file, but if there were more files, you would see it downloading the files one by one. And just like that, it's done. Behind the scenes, my firmware just downloaded the 2048 code from the server, saved it to the SD card, and now my app loader can execute it. And there it is, right on the screen. Fully functional 2048 running on a calculator. Now this whole thing, browsing, downloading, installing, and playing, all happened right here on the device. No PC, no cables, and no recompiling. This is the feature I was so excited to build. Now, the App Store does more than let you install games. It completely changes what the PicoCalc is. It's not a calculator anymore. It's a real pocket-sized computer you can program. And since PicoWare has APIs to control the hardware, you can build MicroPython apps that talk to the real world. Like the Flip Social social media client, a tool to control your smart home, or maybe you could connect a GPS module and make a location logger. You can even write and test simple MicroPython scripts on the go with the built-in code editor. You could literally have an idea, code it on the bus, and have a working app by the time you get home. The whole system is designed to be totally open. All the code for the firmware like the app loader and the app store is up on my GitHub. My hope is that 
other people will start building and sharing their own apps. But I have to ask, what would you make with this? Maybe a password manager, a custom soundboard, a tool for testing electronics. There are just so many things you could do. Whew, this project was a marathon. It took months of late night coding, debugging weird memory issues, and definitely a few moments where I felt like giving up. But seeing it all work, watching an app download and launch it with just a button press has been one of the most satisfying things I've done. It took this calculator from a device that could do a few things to a platform that can truly grow and change. Now, if you're excited about this as I am, all the code for PicoWare, including the App Store, is open source and on GitHub right now. The link is down in the description below, and I would absolutely love to see what the community does with it. Well, if you enjoyed seeing how all this came together and you want to stay updated on upcoming PicoCalc projects, please think about subscribing to the channel and giving this video a thumbs up. It's free and only takes a second. I'm Jay Blinked. Thanks for watching. Peace.